the key issues around uh, mobile learning. Firstly was the access and the rate of technology moving so quickly, how could schools keep up? And there was a lot of positive response to that. There was a very clear message that it's not about the technology at all, that the technology will continue to advance and penetration into the market will continue to advance. But actually we've got a much bigger job to do in terms of learning, changing the learning model to make use of all of this technology. From the session, we saw that there were two very interesting possibilities. One was empowering young people as peer trainers and peer assessors working in, in ever more increasing networks and looking at whether that's got a, a, you know, a future in terms of being a school of everyone and a school of everything um, rather than uh, restricting to the current model. The second was looking at how the learning device in the mobile is actually a personal device. This is taking learning to the individual. The individual sees it as a personal device and they feel less threatened in that environment. They feel that they're more open to learning in that environment. And it may be people who've, like adults who've been through a, a schooling system and have come out and aren't confident about returning to education. And it opens up a new, a new possibility for education that maybe we don't need the, you know, the, the teacher in every case. Maybe there are other models and mobile could provide a direct person to person model. Quite often the predictions that we make and the assertions we make about how people are going to learn better don't really play out in the real world, that actually once creative individuals get their hands on it, it has a whole set of unintended purposes that come out of that, of that process. Jessica um, from iHub was talking about how she runs these boot camps where they bring in um, programmers and they bring in technologists and they bring in uh, the students and together they work on local problems and local solutions and the youngest there is 12 years old so they're producing um, applications that are helping the, the kind of uh, economic situation in that country because they're just simple applications but they are, are kind of grounded in the needs of the local people and it's that kind of creativity and unlocking that in the classroom that was felt to be the driver, the driver forward not so much the technology in that sense. From a number of the the participants and from the panellists, there was a real view that we needed partnership to move forward, that we needed governments to um, be innovative, to work with um, companies and to work with uh, education providers to try and reduce the total cost of ownership, increase the scale and make this a more sustainable um, operation.